The message delivered to Vice President-elect Mike Pence by the cast of the hit musical Hamilton has drawn a strong response on and off Broadway. We, sir, we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us. Our planet, our children, our parents, or defend us and uphold our inalienable rights, sir. President-elect Donald Trump tweeted several responses. He called the show overrated and demanded the cast apologize for what he called its harassment of Pence. On Face the Nation yesterday, the vice president-elect praised the performance. He said he was not offended by Friday's speech. He added Mr. Trump would be, quote, president of all the people of the United States. Hamilton actor Brandon Victor Dixon is here first on CBS this morning to talk about this. He delivered the cast statement on Friday. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. Thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure. First, why did you decide to make this statement on behalf of Hamilton's producers and the cast in this manner? Well, uh, the producers, the creatives, uh, and the cast all... We recognize that Hamilton is an inherently American story told by a the definition of, uh, you know, the American community. We are men, women of different colors, creeds, and orientations. And, you know, the, the resonant nature of the show throughout the world, throughout the global community, demands that we, we make statements when there are important issues, I think, facing us as a community. And so we wanted to stand up and spread a message of love and of unity, considering all the emotional outpour since the election. When Donald Trump tweeted that this was harassment of his vice president-elect, mm -hmm. your response was? Oh, I simply informed him that harassment or rather conversation is not harassment you know and i was really appreciated that that vice president-elect pence stood there and listened to what we had to mm -hmm. say i mean and i know some people have said that you know a, a one-sided uh conversation or or a lecture is not conversation but it was the beginnings of a conversation i hope that we can continue to have there's Although a famous Aaron line in the movie well, that says <laughs> talk less smile more. yes yes well, I'm, I'm a very good actor <laughs> yes i know <laughs> i know you are yeah and i'm not doing it justice but there are a lot of people who are criticizing you and the cast because they said that was not the, the place to do it stevie van zandt who's a member of bruce springsteen's e street band says you want to protect your guests you don't want to embarrass them uh, it's, it was inappropriate to single out an audience member. Some say, Brandon, you could have asked him to come backstage, had a conversation with him, and then reported on that. Well, look, what do you I mean, feel about that? He was welcome to come backstage. I mean, all the guests that we have to the show, they're welcome to come backstage and speak with us. And it, I would have loved it if... I realize that, but that. he wasn't given the option, though. He was just Oh, no, he, I mean, he certainly has the option. I mean, I think, I think everybody... you all invited him backstage and he didn't come? I don't know what conversations happened before the show with mm -hmm. the producers, but I do know on a regular basis, political figures, celebrities, people who who want to come to the show we know they're coming they know that it's an option that they can come back and they can speak with the cast they can talk to us take pictures so he absolutely could have done that and if 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 he was unaware at the time i say to him vice president-elect mike pence please come have a conversation with us you know uh, why why you why in other words did you ask to do it to deliver the message or no was it I did not. You know, the, the producer, Jeffrey Sellers, called me about an hour, hour and a half before the curtain and, you know, said that this is something that we thought we wanted to do and asked me if I'd be willing to do it. I'm not sure why they decided to ask me, but I was happy to. I, I was honored to represent our, our cast and our show in that way. And, you know, for me, I think the, the most important thing with respect to all of the emotions that everybody's feeling after this election is to make sure that people recognize that you, we are not alone. We are here together, and we need to listen to one another and speak with one another. And those of us who feel like maybe their voice has been marginalized or might become marginalized need, it's important that they recognize that there are allies all over the place. You and didn't know he was coming until right before the show, maybe an hour or two hours. So did, was Lin-Manuel Miranda involved in crafting this statement? Was it? Yes. yes. How, how, did, how did that come about? Before Jeffrey called me, both Lynn, Tommy Kale, our director, and Jeffrey himself, they collaborated on what they thought the message should be. Mm -hmm. They shared it with me. I read it, with, read it to the cast, and then uh, myself and a few other cast So they wrote it, and then you shared it with the cast and said, does everybody stand behind this? And... Well, I mean, and, the, and then after that, some of the other cast members and myself made some adjustments to it, and then we, we went out and made the, the statement after the show. Uh, the president-elect is demanding an apology. Yeah. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> We assume that no apology is forthcoming. There is no, there's nothing to apologize for. 
There are reports uh, that someone disrupted the show in Chicago on Saturday, a Trump protester, and said something along the lines of, get over it, we won, let's move forward. Are you worried, Brandon, that now you've set a precedent for people now disrupting shows and speaking out during the, in this manner? No, and I'll tell you, that is certainly not the first time, nor will it be the last, that somebody went into a theater and, and began to act inappropriately or, or, you know, stand up and interrupt the show. Before you made that statement, you did ask the audience to... to, to bring out their phones, right, to yes. record the message. Why did you do that? Because it was important for us to... We wanted to, it. We wanted it. I mean, I think when you have a platform, art is meant to bring people together. It's meant to raise consciousness. And when you have a platform like that, I, I, I told Jeffrey Sellers after the show, and I said, I applaud you all for, for you know, not throwing away your shot, for taking a moment to spread a, a message of love, to spread a message of unity. We're not here to boo. We're here to well, cheer each other on. Would you like Donald Trump to come see Hamilton? We welcome, we welcome Donald Trump here at, at Hamilton. Uh, absolutely. Why would you want him to see it? Because I think the power of our show and the way we tell it is undeniable. And I think that it, I think I think it's important for everybody to see a show like ours and yeah, to see how it. What is else? In, in a time of, of wherever there's great change, it's also important for theater, theater itself, to be a place of where ideas are discussed, debated, Absolutely. taking place, and we hope playwrights will be writing those kinds of plays. Absolutely. You know, and, and actors will be putting them on, and theaters will be having them. That's what makes Lynn so brilliant. You know, mm -hmm. he, he's he's using his platform for, for for the good of all, not simply for entertainment or escapism, but for, for, for the diversity of ideas as well as the diversity absolutely, of people. Absolutely, absolutely. Certainly raised another level of the conversation. Thank you, Brandon. Come on. Victor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us at the table. My we pleasure. Appreciate Thank you for having today. me.